Diego, congratulations, quite a way to mark your home debut. Yeah, definitely, obviously. I'm really happy with the result and to get an actual on my home debut was just brilliant. I couldn't have wished for a better start. And uh, your second goal in particular, a goal that you'll remember, I suspect, for a long time. Yeah, definitely, obviously. As soon as I'd gone behind uh, the defence, I seen the keeper off his line and I thought I'd just hit it. And at one point I thought I had it and then as soon as it went in, I was just buzzing like so. Yeah, a great goal for me. And uh, you got your hat trick. You very nearly got one before then with uh, an assist for Amari um, Morgan Smith. The keeper made a phenomenal save to stop you scoring uh, for you know the third, and that would have been your third, which Amari put in. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, as soon as I seen it, Munzu put the ball over him. As soon as I touched it, I thought this is going to be my third, but the keeper saved it and went straight to Morgan. So if I'm not scoring, I'm happy someone else is scoring. And he re returned the compliment to give you a hat trick in the end. Yeah, definitely. He could he could have scored himself. And when he came onto the pitch, I said, "Mo, get me a hat trick, mate." And he was like, "No problem." First opportunity he had, he, like I said, he could have scored himself. He put me in, which is it's great team play. So yeah. When was the last time I got a hat trick? <laughs> a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, playing under twenty three is a month ago against Cardiff, and I got the hat trick. But it's obviously it's not a feeling compared to like, this is my first professional hat trick, and I'm really happy with it. Yeah. And obviously this will help, but but how do you think you've been settling in? Oh, lads have lads have been brilliant with me. Like even the first day, they were really good with me, and there's great banter in the change room. There's no there's no negative vibe at all. Like obviously where we are in the league at the minute, we all know we should be doing better, and we're looking forward to the game on Saturday to set that right. But the lads have been class, the gaff has been brilliant, and the staff as well. So I feel at home already, and I've only been here a week or so now. And, and, and when you heard that uh, you know there was a possibility of coming on loan, what, what, what were your feelings? I was really happy because obviously last year I only had uh, one professional game and uh, it didn't really work out for me at Sheffield United so having the chance to come to League Two and, and getting some games it's just a perfect opportunity for me. You like this stadium don't you? You scored a <laughs> course here for York against Cheltenham <coughs> and then uh, your first your home debut for Cheltenham that's uh, four goals in uh, two games here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I remember that think like, two seasons ago uh, when we won 1-0. Uh, but, yeah, this is the second time I've played here now and some more goals, so hopefully he'll keep coming in and get some more on Saturday. How big a difference will this make to the dressing room? Uh, well, I think it's massive because even on the pitch, the boys look like they're actually enjoying the game and, and obviously it's not the league, but it's... It's all about getting momentum and we've won today so we're looking forward to the game on Saturday and I think that'll help us massively for the game on Saturday. <coughs> Your manager at Bristol City has been in touch with the Cheltenham manager and said he's calling you. <laughs> 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 no, obviously, if that happened that would be good for me but at the minute I've got to play at Cheltenham and it's a great place for me to earn my trade. Brilliant, thanks so much. Do you think there's any, any blow at all that Harry Powell's going to be out on Saturday? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, obviously, but <coughs> obviously, these lads in the squad that can come in and take uh, Pelly's shirt, so hopefully they'll do as good a job as what he did tonight. I'm going to ask your dad's from Naples, you've got a really good left foot and you're called Diego. <laughs> it, it, was that in, did that have any part in, in, in your you being given your name? Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, I didn't even know this until two years ago, but... My mum told me that for the first two weeks like, wow, of my life, I would call Viali. <laughs> and then really? two weeks later, we changed it to Diego, so it must have been because of that. <laughs> so, yeah. so your dad's a Napoli fan, yeah, is he? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, um, you must have grown up watching lots of videos <coughs> of, of Maradona then. Did, did, is that who you tried to base your, your style of play on? Yeah, I remember when I was younger, obviously, back when it was videos, and I used to watch so many videos on Diego Maradona and World Cup goals and that, and he, obviously he's a brilliant player, so... Massive fan like my dad. Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound especially Italian, but do you feel Italian? Obviously, you've played for the under 20s and played age group football for them. <coughs> yeah, obviously, my dad's Italian, my mum's English, I'm half and half. I was born in England, but I've always, I've always felt exactly that I'm Italian. And when I got called up to play for Italy, I had in my head that obviously I would have been buzzing to play for England, but at the time I was excited to be playing for Italy under 18s. And, and that's obviously a step in your development. Do you feel that this is a, a crucial step in your development as well, to be out playing really <coughs> meaningful games, because they are going to be meaningful games between now and the end of the season? Yeah, definitely. Like Obviously, if I'm at Bristol City, I might get the call up to the team and come on once every month or two for five, ten minutes, whereas I'm here, I'm playing hopefully every week if I do well, and that'll get me noticed as well in the international level. It, 
it don't matter whether it's Championship or League 2 as long as I'm playing games and if I'm scoring goals I think there's a great chance I could get called up for the under 21s. Yeah, 20 games of the season left or 21 games of the season left. A few more now because you've well, at least one more because <coughs> of the check and trade. Have you set yourself a goals target after three and two games? I have, yeah, but I don't want to say obviously I don't want to put too much pressure on myself but I've spoke to my manager here and my manager at Bristol City and uh, obviously I've got a target in a fight and I'll be, I'll be really happy. Excellent. Cheers for um, play today.